Gordy was nice. He lived on a, a bench under the bridge. He went to the, he talked to people when they went by. He was kind to people. He never got in fights. Who say I can't sing? Look at my friends come back to see me. Oh, April showers may come your way. It's in the flowers I come in May. When you see sea clouds, I'm no regret. I say, ba 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 La 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 la, oh do do la la, ah ba 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 ba. Rich people are not happy in this world. You can't take the money with you. When they say good morning to you, they just look at you, who the hell are you? And uh, they don't count that to say good morning. I say good morning to lots of people. They just look at you. I remember when the king and queen came here. My queen mother and our king. We were beautiful. That was 1938, before the war started. He had a pink coat, all white fur. Them days, the buck with a buck. This week here, yeah, the man gave me a twenty dollar bill. I need a flip. Oh, holy Christ, thank you very much. I need to shit myself. But I piss it away on booze. The booze picked me up, put me back on my feet again. I'm happy when I get a bottle in my hand. We feed him very well, but one day when it was so cold, he went for soup and it was a big lineup. So I like him, I like the man and uh, he got served right away. And one woman tell, but very loud, oh, this midget, when I look at him, I got the creeps, is that creeps? And he got red, he was always red anyway, but even redder. And then he took that soup and he sent it to her face. And she had very long hair, I had to laugh, but I, she was so upset. Lee put it all over. We took her to the sink to wash her hair. And he left, not a word of excuse. He was, he did it, he had to do it. And he left the place. It was like a prince, I told you, because that's the way he was. Yes. I got frozen in 1973, in front of me in the snowbank, in March. I was in sunny Park for three months. I was in the wheelchair for a year. I couldn't walk. I could get the whole feeling in my hand. I only got two fingers left. The rest is all dead. Uh, Gordy was a, a little bit of a, a rounder, let's put it that way. Uh, petty, petty things, petty. Petty theft. But most of the people he stole from knew him, knew him, so no one would really, you know, no, no one would go after him. They knew who it was. He may get you once, but he wouldn't bother you again. He had this little rope. Nothing vicious, all very petty stuff. Uh, Gordy was taken advantage of you know, by a lot of people. Not the people that knew him, but by a lot of people out of the area. But this, this is what happened. Uh, if you've seen him later on in years, uh, he looked like a derelict, which he was. But when he was younger, Gordy worked. He had several little funny jobs. He, as a matter of fact, one time he used to help quite a bit at a theater just north of St. Clair on Young. I think it was a Beverly. It's called. And he was always dressed up, suit, tie. And uh, from what I understand, he worked for some mixing spices down on Duke or Duchess Street downtown. He worked there quite a while. He wasn't always the way he wound up. I don't like to see the kids smoking. 
They asked me, how come he's so short? I said, man, with a baby, I smoke cigars. And the kids said, I don't believe you. I got hit down by a milk truck. I don't believe you. Oh, yes, I did. I was in a cardboard box, and the milk truck went over me. That in 1935. I put a match in a gasoline tank in the old car, and I blew myself up. I was in the hospital for six children for six months. I wear a collar that was burnt badly. I hang in my own neighborhood, the territory, Ramston Park, because I grew up in this neighborhood. Because I don't want to go downtown and hang out here, yeah, you got killed. Up here, everybody know me. I like this district. It's a very nice district. The liquor store? <laughs> I am bad from there, but now always keep going back in. They try to pull me up, but they can't. They're scared of me. One guy tried to grab me, and I grabbed him back. I put him on the floor. And I kicked the goddamn window in. Cops say, Gordy, keep away from that liquor store. What do you mean? I don't cause trouble. It caused me trouble. He was the kind of little guy in our neighborhood, High Crest, who, um, Everybody identified with. I mean, he was Gordy. He was our regular bum. He was our our bum because everybody in the neighborhood knew who he was. Um, as opposed to, as I said to you earlier, now we got a whole whack of bums that are. I mean, we might be bringing them in from Scarborough. Gordy was from here. What's the difference from a stick up and a hold up? What's a crick in the hand or the eye? The hand. Hit me in the corner, thought you me off. Don't know what he'd catch you. I loved Gordy for his independence, the fact that he could dare to be himself in this time of uh, stereotyped people. He would often fall asleep in the park, have the DTs in the middle of the night, and several times a, a year the, the ambulance would come and cart him off, and then he'd be back you with clean smoke. clothes and a shave and, and a haircut and. Uh, and he was himself again. I mourn him. I feel that uh, we're all pretty vulnerable in there, but by the grace of God, go we all. I love the girls. The girls love me. They don't call me shorty for nothing. I'm a... Uh, I'm a wild hunk. 